Emma. I want to talk to you guys about odd and even numbers. My teacher always told me an even number ends with 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. But what makes an even number even and what makes an odd number odd? Well, let's have a look at 6. Now, I know 6 is even because every dot has a partner. Their partners, these ones are partners and their partners. We'll have a look at another one. Now here I have five. I know it can't be even because this dot here, it's all alone, it doesn't have a partner. They have partners though, but this one doesn't, so it must be an odd number. Have a look at another one. What number do I have here? I've got two, four, six, eight. I have eight. It must be an even number every dot has a partner. Have a look at another one. Now here's one. It's all alone. It has no partner. No partner. So it must be an odd number. Now how about we look at all of them? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we know one is an odd number. If I add one to one, I have two. Now two is an even number because it has a partner. Both dots have a partner. If I add one to two, I have three. Three is an odd number because this dot here, it's all alone, has no partner. Add one to three, I've got four. Four is an even number because every dot has a partner. Add one to four, I have five. Now five's an odd one, because this one here has no partner, it's all alone. Add one to five, got six. Six is even, because every dot has a partner. If I add one to six, I have seven. Seven's odd, because this one, it's all alone again, has no partner. Do you see the pattern? Odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even, odd, even. Now my challenge to you is find out is 15 odd or even. Once you decided, find out two ways that you know. Bye.